Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here today with, whoop, right here, we have another personal break, this time for Paul D. Once again, thank you so much, Paul, for letting me open up some more Ikoria Collector Booster packs for you. Another sealed box, in fact. If you missed it, last week on our live stream, which was that big seven hour video you might have seen published this weekend, we did open up a lot of Ikoria Collector Boosters and a couple pre-release kits. There was a wonderful commenter who put timestamps. I was gonna do it myself on Monday, but they beat me to it on Sunday. They put timestamps for every single opening in the video, so if you just wanna see magic, you don't have to hunt for it yourself in that video. Don't be intimidated. There are timestamp pinned comment at the top of the comment section with all the timestamps and perhaps you may find some other openings that you may also enjoy but definitely check that out it was such a success last weekend that we're going to be start doing live streams every single saturday night 7 45 p.m eastern excluding i think i looked on the calendar and i think the only holidays coming up that are on saturday are fourth of july and halloween so we'll deal with that when we get there but for now definitely every single saturday night 7 45 p.m eastern come hang out with me and watch me open up some product live and it's cool we get to hang out we get to talk with the chat meet some maybe some new friends in chat but it was definitely a really fun time and excited but i'm excited also to get right into this because we are running low on a choreo boost boosters uh, the uh, collector boosters exactly we still have a lot of regular booster boxes but we are running low on these and i want to see what is in all of them because i i love opening up the product every time someone buys a box and leaves the shop it's like no what was in it i want to know what's in it so i'm excited to get in here i know paul is still hunting some more good so hopefully i can get them for him with my tiny knife but how do we get into this box we do it by snapping myself into the corner and now we can cut right into this ikoria collector booster for paul d and if you can't get enough collector booster openings, there are a ton in our Aquaria Layer of Behemoths openings playlist, which I will put at the end of the video. There were openings in that live stream, as I said. And also, coming up later today, we have a pre-release kit and then another collector booster opening for some other gentlemen. Also personal breaks, so be looking forward to that if you are interested in later today. Let's get started with pack number one. Hopefully I still remember the amount of spacing I need to have all the proper piles because there are so many different types of cards in these collector boosters. Well, let's start, we're starting off with a Kraken token. Have our four common foils, two uncommon foils, the foil land, the commander card, extended art, Frontland Felidar is our first extended art, and we have a foil extended art, Lava Brink Venturer. We have the two common or uncommon alternate arts. We have a Savai Triome here. Make sure I have enough space. Foils. This rare mythic foil. Godzilla non-foil. Foil. Okay, and we have a Godzilla Primeval Champion. And our first foil in the back is a Migratory Great Horn. Oops, that pack opened quite strange. Have you all seen the announcement for Double Masters? What do you think of that? If you've seen it, let me know your thoughts in the description or in the comments down below. Me personally, I think it's uh, interesting. I like that they're continuing with the alternate art trend. I think that makes the product a bit more like enticing. But we'll see what the fullest cards in that product is. I think it'll be good, but how good is really a question of what's in the set itself. We have an Unpredictable Cyclone Extended Art, Titan's Nest, we have an Octopus, King Caesar, Ancient Guardian, and a Necro Panther. Oh, and I had I did go through and update the website on Wednesday or Monday. I was not up to doing anything else on Monday. I just did mail. My voice was actually gone when I woke up on Sunday morning. And it, it came back throughout the day, but I did I did kind of overdo it, so my throat was still in a lot of pain on Monday. So I didn't I didn't get to these personal break openings on Monday. I pushed them back to Wednesday just because I wasn't feeling very well. But I did update. Oh, we have two Genesis Ultimatums, Extended Art and Foil Extended Art. I did update the website, so you can directly request without me having to bother you afterwards your break if you want it live or recorded, and it's up to you entirely. But both options are now there for you. We have, a, we have an armadillo, armored killer, because I cannot pronounce. I've heard, I've read, I haven't heard it. I, it might be better if I looked up the actual pronunciation. But several different commenters have a, because at, at my request, I requested how do I how to learn how to pronounce this card. Have given me different phonetical spellings, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just call him armadillo because he is. He's a big, big armadillo, armadillo kaiju. Because I'm not gonna just 
because perhaps even if I do pronounce it right, some people might be used to pronouncing it a different way and then it sounds wrong and then it's just, I was just like, you know what? Armadillo. So his name is Armadillo Armored Killer. Same thing if you've seen the Space Godzilla Death Candy Cane, as it's called on this channel. I'll try not to get our account flagged. I did actually slip up and say it once during the live stream towards the end when I was, I was, I, I wasn't feeling tired, but I, I was getting tired. I wasn't mentally like, oh, I'm tired. But I, after after it was done, I hit stop recording. I was like, wow, I am exhausted. But it was so much fun. But I did slip up and say it. And actually, it's right here in the back of this pack. Space Godzilla Death Candy Cane Foil. Very nice. We've already gotten three foil kaijus. Usually we get about four or five per box. Maybe we will get a lot in this box. That'd be awesome. Like I said, we are hunting Ghidorah. Ooh, very nice. Fierce guardianship. Let me sleep that up, actually. Very nice. If you control a commander, you may cast the spell without paying its mana cost. Counter, target, non-creature spell. It's a, a free, free negate. You're better, actually. But yeah, very, very nice. Free card. That is the most expensive commander card, I believe. Ruinous ultimatum. And a foil gem razor. Vadrock, Apex of Thunder, and a Ghidorah. That was a very good pack right here. Fierce Guardianship and Ghidorah, King of the Cosmos. I'm actually going to sleeve up the Ghidorah too. Now, it's odd. I don't really sleeve up magic cards that often, but because I started off with a sports product, I have the sleeves here, so I feel like I may as well use them. We have a Boneyard Lurker. So, so far, Paul, you've got a very good box. That one pack in particular was insane. Man, if you were just been like... Yeah, let me just let me just YOLO it and buy one pack. That would have been a really awesome pack to get. Fierce Guardianship and Ghidorah, same pack. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I'm not cutting Nightbonder for him. Mythos of Snapdax. Kahira. Dirge Bat. Not full candy cane, very nice. And a Cheater and Harvester. These piles are getting a little wonky. Quick straightening break. Alright, now we are on the right half of the box. Let's go and find more Ghidorahs here. Crystal and Giant Extended Art and a Foil Omori. Cub Warden, Godzilla Primeval Champion, and a Volpkeet. We have an Island, Nesting Grounds, a Bosch, and an Eerie Ultimatum. Two foil extended our ultimatum so far in this box. A Zagoth Trial. Armadillo and Pouncing Shore Shark. I'm going to be trying to update the channel banner perhaps today. I took a picture where I thought it was cool. I'm going to try and test out my non Photoshop Photoshop skills and see if I can make some cool adjustments to that. Hopefully, hopefully it goes well. If not, nothing will change. <laughs> but I'm going to try and put the uh, you know, advertising our stream, which definitely, please guys, come check it out. It was super fun. Mythos of Nethroy and Skycat Sovereign. And also, you know, how I, did, I mean, I do post frequently throughout the week. Advertise that we do post frequently on this channel. I think we have almost 200 videos already, and we've only been around a couple months, so that's a lot. Like I said, well, not like I said, but like I've thought before, I do put a lot of work into this channel, and I'm very happy that people are enjoying the content. So that makes me happy is when I see every time we have a new subscriber. We've been having a boom in subscribers recently. I was looking at the analytics this morning while I was waiting for a... I was trying to film and then a train decided to go by because our train tracks are relatively close to here. So every time I would go to hit, I think it's gone, let me hit record. And then they would be like, Whoa! and I was like, all right, I gotta wait. But I was looking at the analytics 
And on Saturday, we had 45... Uh, Friday, we had 45 new subscribers. Saturday, we had... 44. Sunday, we had like 71. And we had in the 40s again on Monday. It's just been going up. I think it might be one day off. But... I mean, I know people were really excited about the new baseball release of Bowman Baseball, so I think we got a lot of people attracted to those that video. And then also in the live stream has gotten a ton of views, which is ridiculous considering it's seven hours long, but like I said earlier, there is a pinned comment with all the timestamps. If you're just looking for Ikoria openings, we opened a ton of collector boosters. We did. I think Paul got at least two. I think this is Paul's either fourth or fifth collector booster on the channel. We've opened some collector boosters for other people as well, some pre-release kits. But it was definitely a fun time all around, got some really cool hits. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're interested. Like I said, timestamps will help guide you through the video. You know, just find what you're looking for and leave. We'll catch you a trial. And a violent plant beast one, very nice. And a trumpeting gnar. We're down to the last pack here. Let's see if we can do a last pack for Ghidorah. Although that Fierce Guardianship and Non-Foil Ghidorah pack was so far the best pack that I have probably seen. But let's see what we can get here. We've not gotten a Foil Rare or Mythic from the last spot in the pack of the uh, Showcase Alternate Arts. Wonder if we can get perhaps like a Foil Triome or something here. We can get a Foil Vivian to match our Vivian's Art Bow playmat in the background. Maybe we can get a Foil Luca. Maybe we won't get anything at all. We have a non-foil Luca. We have a King Caesar, Ancient Guardian. And we have a foil, Brokos, Apex of Forever. So we did get a foil mythic showcase in the back. Very cool. Now it's time for our recap. Let me start with let's start with our kaiju foils. To get four, we got Godzilla, Primeval Champion. We had Armadillo, Death Candy Cane, and King Caesar, Ancient Guardian. For our non-foils, we got definitely some really cool ones. We got that Ghidorah, the candy, two candy cane non-foils, very nice. And the Violent Beast plant forms, also very good as well. To get this one, last pack here, last card that we saw. We got a non-foil Barokos as well. Then a Vadrock and a Luka. For our non-foil rares, we had one Triome, two Triomes, just three Triomes here. Ketria. Zakoff and Savai. Foil rares. How many extended art foils do we get? To get four, we had Lava Brink Venture, first pack, Genesis Ultimatum, Eerie Ultimatum, and Voracious Great Shark. Let me go past these extended arts real quick. And for our commander cards. Perhaps there are some other goodies in here, but I did notice, sticks out the most, we had Fierce Guardianship, which is awesome. So this was actually a really sweet box. Paul, I was able to get you one more Ghidorah, not the two that you're looking for, but hey, one out of two is still pretty good, plus a Fierce Guardianship. I have to think that counts for something, but I hope you enjoyed this box opening. I had a lot of fun opening up another one for you, and I really appreciate you keep coming back and letting me open up stuff for you, because it is a lot of fun for me, and I'm glad that you are having fun as well. But like I said, everyone, please make sure to join us this Saturday and every Saturday going forward, 7.45 p.m. Eastern, here, right here on Titan Cards. On, um, I think on Friday, I'll set up the reminder for the stream, so if you, whenever you're on Friday in your notifications, you'll have, you know, you can hit set reminder, so if you need, you know, YouTube to tell you, or it will be here, just come look for it on Saturday. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the video. If you made it all the way through, I really do appreciate it. I love seeing high watch times on videos. It makes me happy that you guys are entertained throughout the video, not just skipping to see the hits. Even though if you do that, that's fine. You know, you can watch videos however you want. I won't, can't complain too much. But it just makes me happy when I see high watch times because that means people are enjoying it. And also YouTube is also like, hey, people don't click out of this video after 30 seconds. Let's recommend it to other people. So it really does help other people see our videos as well. So that's really cool. But thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, we do have up next, we have a pre-release kit. And then we have another collector booster box after that for two other gentlemen. But so if you're excited to see some more Aquaria openings, make sure you stay tuned and don't go too far because I will have some more up later today. But with that, let me get this cleaned up and then we can get into our pre-release kit opening for Dave B. So that's coming up next. Stay tuned if you want to see it. If not, I will hopefully catch you either on Friday or Saturday at our live stream. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Hope you're staying safe and I will see you at your next convenience.
Bye, everyone.